What's up guys? Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this video, but uh, the, the point of it is um, this is my uh, rat man do uh, swamp rat and I reground it and uh, I've used this thing really uh, quite hard actually uh, batoning through hardwood and uh, you know cross batoning and um, tables a mess everywhere but where you can see so anyway it's really quite thin I got this new little toy here that measures just how thin not the best one obviously but uh, I think it'll be relatively close so let's measure this one and right behind the edge it measures about uh, 0 0.013 it's slightly convex but that's pretty thin um, I had no problems when I used it with rolling I mean it held an edge beautifully this is the new Phil Wilson South Fork. Um, Phil Wilson makes custom knives and of the slicing variety. Um, they are very often .010 or even thinner. Um, so let's uh, measure this one. So right behind the edge I'm getting 0 .0205 so it's 0 .005 thicker than the RMD um, let's get a regular knife like the military happens to be fairly close now even the military is considered a uh, kind of a slicer well actually you know what let's switch that let's um, let's measure let's measure the strider to get a idea and I'm going to try not to make this too long so it is point zero two three so as you can see as we're as we're going through here now uh, we'll put them kind of in thickness but a lot of knives are really quite thick um, this is a crying regrind uh, paramilitary 2 in CTS 20 CP and this thing is crazy. We'll measure this. I'm getting point zero zero seven. Okay, so that's the thinnest one yet. This is the M three ninety mule that I reground. Now I I re I reground both. I reground quite a few knives but I didn't have any way to measure it so I was really just kind of going by what I thought um, this one measures at point zero zero two Is that right? Yeah, it's hard to tell, but it's down there. I'd say point zero zero. I'm gonna have to go with six, five or six. But I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy thin. Now, this is a knife I cut up a, a buttload of cardboard. Um. I cut wood with this 
it's amazing. And that's M390 Mule. Um, so basically, you know, I guess the point of the video is this kind of this South Fork. Um, I've been reading on the forums a lot of people kind of wondering what it's for. Um, now I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to use this knife, but if we compare these two, they're, I mean, really they're very similar, right? I mean, yeah, they're different, but length, they're close. You know, they both got a choil. Obviously the RMD is quite a bit thicker. Um, but I think this could be used for anything. I mean, it's, it's, you know, compared to, I mean, I use this on wood, uh, double layer, super thick cardboard. I mean, real cardboard. I cut it for like 40 minutes with this. And it was still sharp at the end. You know, if that's point zero zero six, you know, and this is point zero two, that's a big difference. You know, my feelings are that this thing, you know, I, I guess the kind of the point of the video, and you guys let me know what you think, if you'd like, is that, you know, the knives these days are so thick for the most part, I mean, you know, and I guess that's because people pry with them and this and that. Um, but I personally have been surprised, and you know, I'm not, I'm not an expert, you know, but I've been surprised by what, you know, how skinny steel can be, um, and perform and, you know, be safe and, you know, work, work way better, you know, so I don't know anyone, uh, I'd like to hear thoughts again. I don't want to make this too long, but you know, I'd like I have, I, I'm kind of wondering myself, they get me wondering myself, what can this thing do? I mean, I think you can, uh, would you baton with it? No, probably not. You know, would you split some little tiny kindling with it? Sure, I mean, why not? You know, that's what I think. You know, I don't want to break my knife, but those are kind of my thoughts. Uh, I mean, because this thing, I beat the living piss out of this thing, and it, did, it didn't care at all. Now, obviously, the difference there is steel got a you know a, a extremely wear resistant steel here as opposed to a tougher you know carbon so anyway that's kind of my question and I'd love to hear anyone's thoughts as far as you know the trend that the the industry's taking etc with all these thick knives and if anyone has experience with thin knives or you know just kind of throwing it out there so anyway thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one